Cause I'm chillin' with you too much I'm drinking, got the MX on the What's up, boys? Welcome to another video. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this one. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the notification bell because we upload three bangers every single week. And that is a fact. And also, if you guys have been enjoying the content, be sure to hit the like button because we are the latest fishing channel on YouTube. And that is a verifiable fact. So, what are we doing today? Um, we're going to be doing some bank fishing. But this isn't your standard bank fishing video, guys. We are fishing at the PGA Tour golf course pond. So this is like, this was literally televised all last week. It was all on TV. This place has some huge fish. I'm not gonna say the name of it, but it's got some huge, huge, huge bass. I'm hoping we're gonna catch them today. It is pretty windy. It's, it's been a very windy day. I'm, that's the only thing that I'm kind of worried about is the audio on the camera. Um, I'm not, wind is a good thing when we're fishing, but when we're filming, it's not the best. So. I don't know. I guess we're going to see how it goes, but we got about a 15 minute drive till we get there. We're going to be fishing with um, Robbie, which was in, he was in one of the um, latest videos of the past couple of weeks. I got Alan Bob behind the camera and uh, yeah, hopefully we're going to go catch some toads. Oh, you got him? Is he big? God, you got that camera too. How big is he? <laughs> oh shit! Like five, six pounds. Oh, you oh. kidding me? Damn. You like five, six pounds, ain't he? At least. Jesus, dude. He didn't even move when you hooks at him. That's the third fish I've lost for today. Today? Yeah, I broke all like a five too. Dude. Yeah, that was a giant. That was like five, six pounds. Well, guys, we've been here for about literally five minutes, and Alan just broke off like a five, six pounder. Literally, that is our luck, boys. Oh, shit. did you see that? I'm about busting my nose. <laughs> There he is. Now he ain't even that big. He ain't bad. That was first cast on that chatterbait over there. Heck yeah. Got about like a two pounder right there, first fish of the day. Beautiful little guy on the chatterbait. I've been casting that jig around for a while around here. Finally picked up that chatterbait first cast and he grabbed it. So maybe they want something that's a little bit moving. We're working it really slow, but still. First fish of the day. Alan Bob's got to still redeem himself. Pretty bad. No. Oh, dude. <laughs> you look big for a minute there. Huh? <laughs> the way you hooks at him. <laughs> Alan oh, with this first fish. Got the monkey off his back after yeah. redeeming yourself. After losing three giants. A little fatty. Good job, bro. There you go. Get the monkey off your back. Boom. Holy oh, shit. How big is he? You want me to help you? Oh my god. Want me to help you? Oh my god. Oh 
my god, dude. Holy crap. Holy crap, bro. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my god. See that? Dude, that's a freaking tank. Show him his belly. That's like, holy crap. Man, bring me that scale. Hey, that's, that was, all right, I wanna. Now we just gotta guess. What are you thinking, dude, before we wait? Let me see. I'm guessing seven and a half. I don't know. Ooh. What is it? <laughs> is it ever that? Seven or one? Dude, you're behind it all. that's a freak. Right back there, man. Second cast, she took it. This is what you get. That's Seven awesome. pounds, one ounce. Heck yeah, that's <laughs> stopping. Good job, bro. Thanks, man. Freaking tank. Freaking mule. Over seven pound. Doggy. Come on, big girl. Oh. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> that's No gua, fatty. Sandy, no with me, nowhere, Bentley. Get like, 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 get like. So, boys, we are at the next day of this trip. Yesterday was tough, man. We had a really tough day. Robbie caught a toad, so that was kind of salvaged the video up. But I was like, I don't want to leave you guys on like five fish. I want to go catch some more. So. We're out here at the next day. We're at a new place today. And we're gonna be trying to catch some big bass. I got Alan Ball behind the camera as always. Man, we're gonna try to catch a big one. I did break a rod yesterday, so I gotta kinda get that situated. We're gonna do that now. We're gonna have a few pulls. I'm probably gonna end up tying a chatterbait in that Texas rig on. Another big thing, there was a full moon last night and uh, I'm sure this fish was chomping all night. It's gonna be a little tough today. We got bluebird skies, a little bit of wind. It's not as bad as yesterday, so it shouldn't affect the audio too much, but um, yeah, we're gonna get our poles out. I gotta switch one of my rods over, tie a few baits on, then we're gonna go catch some bass, baby. So we actually had a little problem yesterday with the hooks that we were using. I don't have too much tackle in my truck. A lot of it I left in the boat when we were traveling. So when we drove down to Florida, like I didn't have a lot of bank fishing stuff. Um, it was kind of one of those deals where I was like, you know, I can stop at Walmart if I have to to grab some stuff. And uh, he ended up like losing like two fives or like a five and a six. And I ended up losing like a solid, solid fish. I don't even know how big he was, but then I broke off a fish. Obviously that's not the hooks problem, but we just dug up some like Gamagatsu hooks. We're gonna be rigging up some Texas rigs. I just switched the rod over to, here, let me show you. This rod right here, which I got a little origin and then you know, a little fade black, obviously. Put, put my chatterbait on there, cause I broke, where's my broken rod, dude? I broke this one yesterday. I'm sure it was from us just throwing it in the truck in that whole ordeal. Uh, where's the other piece of it? Oh, it's right here. Yeah, <laughs> we broke that. So I'm about to cut this jig off, throw a Texas rig on, probably put a lizard or a worm on, and then we'll be good to go. Got a little fray. I gotta re-spool this line. It's about time. Where are those bobber stops? Let me ask you that. Yeah, no, there. I saw some in here, I think. I think there's some yeah, Z bait ones. Dude, that's stupid. What? <laughs> I broke the wire off. You already got a fish? No way! Holy crap, Alan Bob! Oh, I'm about to fall and just lift him. Let's lift him. <laughs> dude, first cast? I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, dude. Holy crap, he just got like a two and a half pounder. First cast. Hold that fish up. Oh, dude. <laughs> oh, man. I was so thinking about that lizard right away, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to chuck him moving bait. You were chucking that child, but I was like, I'm going to start with, off some, with some slow and see. And like, literally, first cast. Hammered it, guys. That's, That's a freaking insane. stubby fish, too, man. Solid two pounder, man. With this fat tummy, I'd, I'd give him like two and a quarter. 
All right, good job, Alan. That is awesome. Beautiful little fish to start off with. First cast, baby. First cast. <laughs> Sweet. All right, Alan, let's get a release on them, man. All right. Let's get back out there. We gotta get back out there, see if we can catch a toady. I don't mind catching those, man. That's a quality little guy. There he goes. Heck yeah, dude. First cast, man. I, I don't know if that's good luck or bad luck, yeah. but you know. Just came back up. I guess the only way to find out is to cast back in. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Heck yeah. I knew that lizard would get it done, dude. Lizard bizzard. I wanna chug this for another couple minutes, man. Just see. This thing is whipping, dude. I can cast this thing a mile this long road. But this wind pushing right up into this grass, like slight wind, it's nothing too crazy. It's perfect, dude. Heck yeah, throw it back in there. I wanna see you catch it. Catch another one, man. All right, I think I might have to whip out the slow bait. Slow bait. I think that's what it is. Oof, oof. So boys, this is what we're throwing. We got us a little lizard. This is a eight inch magnum lizard by Zoom. And um, this is just a watermelon seed. Texas rigged, very basic, just kind of what we have in the car. We were throwing a lizard yesterday and we had some good bites on it. So we're like, you know what, let's let's take it out today and uh, see what we can do with it. And um, there we go. I mean, Alan got him first cast. But the thing is with the old lizard, he got some good ones now. And this bait's probably going to do the job today just because it was a full moon last night. This fish are feeding. They're going to be a little bit more lethargic today. We got a hot day. Bluebird skies. Fish won't be roaming as much. And uh, there's probably some that are still on some beds right on the edge of this grass right here. So that would be a good way to catch them is with this lizard. Uh-oh. There he is. Oh, he came off. Bro, that was a big one. I mean, it, it, it was whistling my rod. When I hooked at him, he didn't move. Yeah, he was just running with it. He was going to the left, and when I hooked at dude, he just took off. What on the heck did I just miss that fish? It was either a really big one or a super small one to not get pinned. We were working that bait really slow that time. That's probably the key today. I cannot believe I lost that fish. That bite was so soft. That might have been a good one, man. It's an eight inch lizard now. I never even felt him hit it. He was just walking with it. Holy crap. And when, see, when I hooked, say he didn't move. I don't know if it's because he was in grass or he was just a big one, but I think he was a good one, dude. I mean, I that's the small, the one that you just caught is the smallest fish I've seen out of here. Yeah. I'm telling you, they're good fish in here. But Caster out here, he, he bit me somewhere in this this range you get him yeah you got him oh is he big huh small one? Oh, he's a little dink what the heck alan bob is killing it man that could have been what got me man that could have been what bit me alan bob with the second, second fish good me. job bro heck yeah he's a smaller guy there's a small one not too bad. That might, all right, so that might have been what bit me. It, I'm telling you, it could have been either a big one or a small one. It's just when I hooked yeah. that, he didn't move. That's what. Oh, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I got a pick. Oh, what? The hell? Dude, what the? Heck yeah, dude. They like the lizard. Heck, I one just bit it when I was dead sticking it. My pole was on the ground. I was hoping to pick it up and double up right there, but. You got another one. <laughs> He's a dude. dude. The lizard's bigger than him, and that is a fact. Dude, the lizard is literally the same size as that bass. Alan's got him a freaking donkey, don't you? <laughs> Alan already has three the same fish. Size as a lizard, dude. He literally is the same size. I don't even think he makes eight inches. Dude, that's pitiful. Yeah, that's yeah. I don't even know how he ate that. What was this guy thinking eating an eight inch lizard? <laughs> Stupid. I do need to catch. There he is. Like, he freaking. There he is. See him walking with it?
Oh. Noah caught his first one today. 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 <laughs> today. <laughs> Would you not think you're recording? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Noah caught his first one today. All right, boys. Well, I got me one. It took him like three times. I'm surprised these small ones are just biting this thing, dude. Like I said, uh, they're usually bigger ones in here, but we are slowing down, you know? But look how chubby that fish is. Solid pound, pound and a quarter, but a little fat, little fat belly, little fat guy. Little pretty boy. All right. Dude, that's what? Five, four fish? Four fish. Should be right, five. Yeah. I, I missed one. Oh, he's bleeding. He is bleeding. What the heck? I hooked him outside of the mouth. Right, let's get him back, little guy. Thank you for buying, buddy. Finally got me a fish. Oh. I throw him out there. He comes right here. Heck yeah, man. It's good. Let's keep going. What? He's right on the side here. Little baby? Yeah. Well guys, I got me one. Alan's got three. Alan is killing it. I should have two right now. I swear that was a good one. I just wanna have three. I'm just gonna tell myself that that fish was like four inches, so I don't hurt my hurt my feelings. But if you guys are wondering what we're doing, um I like to talk about what we're doing and I got one. God dog. Oh he's not big, he was stuck in the grass. We're freaking caking, bro. That was my next cast. Boys, what is going on? After a full moon, we thought we were going to get skunked today. And we're just killing it. What in the heck is going on? They're not big now. But they're in here. The big ones are in here. Another little guy. Beautiful lizard bass. We got like a 12-inch fish. Or 12, 13-inch fish eating an 8-inch lizard right now. That is awesome, man. But beautiful little Florida bass. Let's get him back in the water get back out there. Look at the markings on him. So pretty. I love that. So we have a Texas rigged eight inch lizard and watermelon seed right here. Pretty big profile. We are catching smaller bass on it too, which is quite surprising to be honest with you. And uh, what we're doing is we're just chucking it out here. We got a grass edge right here, but there's also some grass out there in the middle. Water clarity is obviously pretty clear. We're here in Florida. We are getting the bites that we need, I can tell you that. We're working this thing really slow though. Like I said earlier, there was a full moon last night, and usually when that happens, those bass are feeding all night, and the next day usually isn't the best, um, from my experience. Usually you have to slow down. It's, it's usually a mid-afternoon by usually the morning. You might get an hour when the, when the sun's coming up, but for the, for the most part, it's usually in the afternoon that you're going to get those bites. And um, all we're doing with this lizard is just chucking it out there and dragging it right back to this grass. And, and note that I said dragging. We're dragging this lizard, not hopping it like a shaky head or, or a worm. We're just simply dragging this thing pretty slow. And that's how we've got all of our bites. I've got like three bites, four including when my rod was set down. Alan's got three or four bites as well. And it's just happening right here pretty quick. And we, ha we have a lot more spots to fish, but I don't know. It's going pretty good. Working this thing really slow and it's just working out. Well, boys, we had a... Pretty solid day today. Yesterday was a little bit tough, but Robbie did hook him a solid seven. I'm literally right in your lens. Sorry guys, Alan Bob's in the lens. We gotta take that off. But anyways, uh, <laughs> what did Robbie catch? Seven six or is it seven one? Seven one. Seven one. So we got one toad. That That's a toad, guys. I don't care if you guys wanna call that a baby, but that, that's a toad in my opinion is a seven pounder. Um, and yeah, we caught, I mean, we caught some decent fish along the way, but we could have caught some more, but we're ending this short today because I'm filming another video. So you guys need to be sure to be subscribed, turn on the post notification bell and stay tuned for the next upload because we're actually about to film that right now. We're going to take those lizards to the test, the Magnum lizards and see if we can catch some big fish on these ponds and walk around a little bit more. Because all in all, we stood towards, you know, just the back corner, and that's really all we were fishing. I mean, we caught like five or six, but we have a lot of water that we can cover. So you guys want to be sure to stay tuned for the next upload by subscribing. And also, if you guys have been enjoying the content or you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button. I hope you guys got a cool siding with the PGA Tour golf course. That was pretty cool up here in uh, Jacksonville, or down here in Jacksonville, Florida. Pretty neat, man, because that was all last week, and. 
to go out there and fish it. It wasn't the exact pond that they were golfing on, but it's right next to it. Um, it was just pretty neat, man. It was a cool experience. I wish we would have got to catch more, but you know, like I said, Robbie caught a big one, and uh, that's all that really matters. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next. Beat it up, beat it up, keep it up, keep it up. They gon' try you, they can't stop you. Eat it up, eat it up. Black man, black man.